everybody. Welcome to the Google Classroom for this week. I'm Miss Freeland. I'm Miss Fitzpatrick. And today we're going to demonstrate one of our cool little games that you can play with an adult. You um, only need one person to play with you, or um, you could always invite more people, the more the merrier. Um, and Miss Fitzpatrick, would you like to talk about the game? Sure. So this is actually a game that you could even play with your friends over FaceTime or Zoom while you're out of school right now. So this might be a really good game to think about doing that way. So when we play Going on a Picnic, this is a really cool, fun game that lets you practice some skills like following directions, categorizing, attributes, and all of that good stuff that we've been working on in speech. So when we do this game, um, the first thing that you do is you decide on a category with your partner. So Ms. Vreeland is my partner. So what do you think our category should be for our first round? Hmm. Let's see. Well, I really, I've been eating a lot of food lately. So why don't we, why don't we do some food? Perfect. Okay. So we are going to each say what we're bringing on a picnic and we're going to go in ABC order. So I might say I'm going on a picnic and I'm bringing apples. All right, and then it would be my turn. And so I'm going to repeat what Miss Fitzpatrick said, and then I'm going to add something that starts with a B. So I'm going on a picnic and I'm bringing apples and bananas. Okay, so now it gets really harder, and you can see why this is going to really challenge your memory. So I'm going to repeat everything Miss Breland said and add my own again with C. So I'm going on a picnic and I'm bringing apples bananas, and cake. And so you go through the alphabet a lot like that. If it helps, you might want to write down your alphabet in front of you, um, just so you know where you are. And also, if you're having a really hard time remembering, guess what? You can just go down the alphabet. You don't have mm -hmm. to repeat what everybody says. All right, so that's up to you. I think it's a lot of fun when you do it, because once you get to something like mm -hmm. M or X or something like that, it's gonna be a really hard time remembering all those things. So what you can also do is instead of just categories, because I know a lot of you are super good at your categories, um, we can do attributes. So let's try it again, Ms. Fitzpatrick, and okay. let's do things that are green. Ooh, okay. So, all right, do you wanna go first? Sure. All right, so I'm, okay, I'm going on a picnic and I'm bringing asparagus. Ooh. Also a food, but it's something that's great. Healthy food. I love it. There's a lot of vitamins in asparagus. Um, you can grow asparagus in your garden, too. For um, so I'm going on a picnic, and I'm bringing asparagus and broccoli. We're going to get two vegetables on our picnic, Ms. Fitzpatrick. I'm going on a picnic, and I'm bringing asparagus, broccoli, and cash. Ooh, there we go. So, so then you would just keep going through the whole alphabet to see how many things you can think of that are green that start with each letter of the alphabet. So you're working on all of those good category skills and really working out your memory. Yeah, so we hope that you enjoy this. And um, great point, you can do this on Zoom or um, Google Hangouts, whatever you want to do. Um, or you can do it with anybody that's in your house right now. Mm -hmm. So um, we certainly miss you guys, and we hope that you enjoy this activity. Yeah, let us know how many, if you can get all the way to letter Z, or how high you can go. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.